Tipsy Tuesday at 383 Design Studio. Join our digital design guru for today's Adobe Illustrator for Fashion quick tip. So let's get right to it. Last time we talked about the different colorization methods for brushes. This week we're talking about how to get a gradient into a brush. And if you've ever tried doing this, you know it doesn't work. So what's a designer to do? Well, here's the method that I use. Start by filling your art with the gradient as you normally would. Note that if your art needs a black outline around it, I would suggest keeping it as a separate object and hide it until later in the process. While the art is selected, go to the object menu and choose expand. In the expand dialog box, choose to expand the gradient to a specified number of objects. The more objects you add, the smoother the gradient will look, but be careful of specifying too many objects. I've found 10 to 20 objects keeps the brush uncomplicated and still gives a smooth appearance. Expanding creates a clipping mask, so you'll need to release the mask. Use the divide pathfinder to split the objects and then ungroup so you can select each object individually. At this point, you can show your black outline so you can easily see the excess objects to remove. Once the pieces are deleted, group the entire motif and create your repeat as you normally would. Now when I try to create my pattern brush, I have no problem saving it and my gradient brush looks awesome. And I can even use hue shift to reuse it over and over again in multiple colors. Nice, right? Thanks for watching today's quick tip, guys. It is always, always appreciated. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel to keep seeing new digital fashion videos like this one. Have a fabulous week, and I'll see you on 7th Avenue.